Hi friends, welcome to all. Uh, in this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity, a web and email. Coming to our objective in part 1, uh, we will configure and verify web services. In part 2, configure and verify email services. So here is the background. In this activity, we will configure web and email services using the simulated server in packet tracer also we will then configure clients to access the web and email services they given a note here packet tracer only simulates the process for the configuring these uh, services web and email pa software packages uh, each have their own unique installation and configuration instructions yeah obviously we will come to part 1 configure and verify web services in that step 1, configure web services on central server and branch server. Click central server and uh, click the services tab. HTTP, click on uh, on to enable HTTP and HTTP secure, that is HTTPS. Optional, personalize the HTML code. Uh, repeat step 1A uh, to 1C on branch server also. Right, we will uh, do this now. Here is our topology. First of all, we will come to central server. Here we can see that. Coming to services. Here is HTTP. We are going to put on the services. Uh, right, HTTP. And here we have HTTPS. Now we will come to branch server. Services. Here we can see HTTP. We are going to put it on and HTTPS also right now we will come to uh, step 2 verify the web servers by accessing the web pages there are many endpoint devices in this network but for the purposes of this step use PC3 so click PC3 and to click the desktop tab web browser in the URL box enter 10.10.10.2 as the IP address and click go the central server website displays so obviously uh, this will be the IP address of the central server right we will check this first here we can see our PC 3 desktop web browser here you are going to give 10.10.10.2 yes here we can see the central server web page now we will come to C in the URL box enter 64.100.200.1 as the IP address and click go the branch server website displays right we will try this so we will copy this IP address so it will be more faster right now we will come to the browser here and we will paste this address here and press go yes now here we can see branch server website now we will come to D in the URL box enter, enter uh, central server dot pt dot pka and uh, click go the central server website displays right previously we given the IP address now we are going to uh, give this uh, name so I'm going to copy this coming to PC3 here we are going to give that URL oops we are going to copy that here yes we will come here yes I'm going to press go yes now we get central server also using this name in the URL box enter branch server dot pt dot pka and to click go the branch server website displays so here we are going to give branch server instead of central we are going to give branch And we are going to press, oops, it's spelling mistake here. We are going to give, yes. So, we'll pt dot branch server. Yes, we get branch server. Now we will go to F. Uh, what protocol is translating the central server.pt.pka and uh, branch server.pt.pka names to IP addresses? So yes, obviously uh, we have a service called DNS, a domain name service, uh, which results from IP to name uh, and name to IP also. 
Now we will come to uh, part 2, configure and verify email services on servers. In that step 1, configure central server to send SMTP and receive pop through email. Click central server and then select the services tab followed by the email button. Click on to enable the SMTP and pop through. Set the domain name to centralserver.pt.pka and click set. Create a username central user with the password Cisco. Click plus to add the user. Alright, so we will configure uh, this email service now. Now we will come to central server and to service. So here we have the service called email. Uh, we are going to put on this SMTP service and the POP3 service. And here we are going to give the domain name as central server dot pt dot pka and now we are going to press this button set now we will give this uh, username here as central hyphen user and the password as uh, cisco now we will uh, add this uh, by pressing this button here yes now we will come to step 2 configure branch server to send smtp and receive that is pop through email uh, click branch server and click the services tab email click on to enable smtp and pop through set the domain name to branch server.pt.pka and click set create a username uh, called branch hyphen user with the password cisco then we have to uh, add this user right we will do this now coming to branch server services and here we have email service and here we are going to put on smtp service and pop through service now we will give the domain name here so that is branch server dot pk dot pka and we are going to set this and here the user is branch hyphen user and password is cisco we will add this right now we will come to uh, step 3 configure pc3 to use the central server email service click pc3 and to click the desktop tab email enter the following values into their respective fields so the name is the central user then email address so here is the email address then incoming mail server 10.10.10.2 outgoing mail server 10.10.10.2 username is central hyphen user password is cisco then click save the mail browser window displays click receive if everything has been set up correctly on both the client and server the mail browser window displays the receive mail success message confirmation right so we will configure pc3 now we will come to PC3, desktop, email, right. So here we have user information. Here we are going to give uh, the uh, your name, central user, and email address we have central hyphen user at the rate central server dot pt dot pka and incoming server is a 10.10.10.2 and outgoing mail server also 10.10.10.2 and uh, username that is central hyphen user password is cisco now we are going to press save here now we are going to press receive here Here we can see uh, receiving mail from a POP3 server 10.10.10.2 receive mail success. Now we will come to uh, step 4 configure a sales to use the email service of branch server. Uh, click sales and click the desktop tab email enter the following values in, in into the respective fields. Uh, your name, branch user, email address, incoming mail server, outgoing mail server, username, password, 
then we have to click save then we must uh, we, then we have to click on receive then we will get this message or receive mail success yes so the activity should be 100 percentage complete do not close the sales configuration window or the mail browser window right so we will uh, configure this uh, sales now here we can see sales desktop email right here we are going to give the details so your name is branch user email address branch user at branch server dot pt dot pka and incoming mail server is 172 dot 16 dot 0 dot 3 the same address for the outgoing mail server and here we have to give the username branch user and the password is cisco now we are going to save this and now we will click receive here here we get pop3 authentication fail so we will go to configure mail and here we'll give oops your spelling mistake your username right now we will save it and receive yes so receiving mail from pop3 server 172.16.03 receive mail success here we can see our activity is only 92 out of 100 somewhere we made uh, some spelling mistakes so we will check in the sales right to configure mail uh, username is branch oh yes here we can see it's branch user it's one mistake what we made now we will uh, save this um, mail configuration and here we can see the completion completion status is now 96 also we will come to branch server uh, here we will check the email here we made the mistake here we can see that branch server domain name we made spelling mistake branch server dot spt dot pka here we can see that so we are going to set that here yes now we can see the completion status 100 out of 100 now we will come to uh, step 5 send an email from the sales client and the pc3 client from the sales mail browser window click compose enter the following values into the respective fields uh, to central hyphen user uh, at the right to central server dot pt dot pka subject uh, personalize the subject line anything can be given email body then we have to uh, click send verify that pc3 received the mail click pc3 if the mail browser window is closed click email click receive and email uh, from sales displays double click the email click replay personalize a response and click send verify that sales received the reply right we will check it now we will come to the sales right here is our mail browser here we are going to click on compose then here we are going to write to central hyphen user at the rate central server dot pt dot pka and the subject here we will give something right and uh, here uh, the body right now we are going to send it here we can see send success now we will go to pc3 right email here we are going to click on receive yes here we have the message welcome to the packet tracer yes this is what we sent yes now we are going to replay uh, to this mail here is replay hi 
how are you brain server right i am going to send this so here we can see send success we will verify that uh, coming to sales here we are going to receive yes here we can see that well uh, quite interesting packet tracer activity uh, web and email and we configured a web and email service uh, using the simulated server in packet tracer uh, so friends if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity uh, please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail thank you